Hey there, in this video, we learn about connecting rooms through doors. This tutorial is divided into two problems. The first one is about connecting rooms. We'll be solving this by creating doors that take you to another room. Now the second problem is about carrying data. Basically, it's about carrying data from one room to another. For example, the score that you had in the first room should carry over to the second room. So let's begin with the first problem. Here I have a project with a simple moving player. This is what the room looks like. I'm gonna duplicate it to create our second room. So now we have two rooms, room 0 and room 1. And each room has a player instance inside it. Now we are gonna have to create a door object if we want to go from one room to the other. So we are gonna create an object called O door. Then we are gonna create another object called O enter. Using this object, we can know where the player will enter in the room. So you touch a door, go to another room and end up on one of these instances. Now we are gonna open the first room and place a door here. Then in front of this door, I'll place an enter instance. So when you're coming back through this door, you'll be spawned here. Now we need to be able to identify this enter instance. So we can give it a unique name right here. For that, I'll double click on the instance. We have the name here. We need to give it our own name. So I'll enter room 0 underscore enter 0. This way we know that this is the first enter instance of room 0. Now we are gonna move on to the second room. Here I'm gonna place a door. Then I'll place an enter instance. Now we are gonna rename this instance. So this will be room 1 underscore enter 0. Now we are gonna go to the door object. We are gonna open the variable definitions window. I'll click here to add a variable. Now for the name, we are gonna enter target room. So this will be the room where the door will take us. Now I'll come here and change the type to resource. So you can now assign a resource to this variable. And now we are gonna add another variable. The name for this will be target enter. This will be the ID of the enter instance where this door will take us. So this instance must be in this room. Now we are gonna change the type for this to expression. This basically means that you can enter anything here. Now we are gonna go into room 0. I'll double click on the door here. I'll click here to open the variables. Now we can edit a variable for this instance by clicking here. We are gonna set a target room for this door. So for that, I'll click here. Currently, we are inside room 0. So we want this door to take us to room 1. Now we need to specify a target enter instance. So here, I'm gonna enter room 1 underscore enter 0. So this door will take us to the first enter instance of room 1. Now we are gonna go to room 1. I'll double click on the door here and open its variables. I'm gonna click on these buttons to edit them. Then I'm gonna click here and set the target room to room 0. Then for the target enter instance, I'm gonna enter room 0 underscore enter 0. So that's where this door is gonna take us. Now with all the variables set up, we are gonna work on the code. So we are gonna go back to the door object. Here we are gonna add a collision event with the player. Now inside the event, we have this code. Let's take a look at the first line. Here we are simply passing the target enter value to the player. So we set the variable in the player by using other. This would be the other instance in the collision, which here is the player. Then in this line, we are changing the room by using room go to. So we are going to the target room. 
and now we're gonna go into the game. Now if I touch a door, I'm taken to the other room. So the doors are working, but we don't spawn on the enter instance. We do pass the ID of the enter instance from the door to the player, but then we don't do anything with it. So what we wanna do now is to carry this value to the other room. So that takes us to our second problem, which is about carrying data. We simply want to carry data from one room to the other. So for this example, I've added coins into the game. Now when I go through the door, the coins reset to zero. So we're gonna fix this and the enter issue. For this, we're gonna create a new object called OData It carries data from one room to another. To be able to do that, it needs to be persistent. So when the room changes, this instance will not be destroyed. Now we're gonna go to the player object. We're gonna add a new event here. I'll go on the other and select room end. Now inside the event, we're gonna add this. First of all here, we have a condition. We are checking if the data carrier doesn't already exist. So if it doesn't exist, then we are gonna create an instance of it. That's what we are doing in this line. We are simply creating an instance of the data carrier. Now in this part, we are copying some variables from the player to the data carrier. So we are copying the coins and the target enter ID. Now since the data carrier is persistent, these variables will be carried over to the next room. So when the next room begins, we're gonna get these values back from the same data carrier. For that, we're gonna add a new event which will be room start. So if we detect a data carrier here, we're gonna get our data from it. So let's add this in the event. Now here we have a condition. We are checking if a data carrier is there in the room. If it is, then we're gonna get our data back from it. And that's what we are doing in this part. So first we get the coins value. And then we get the target enter ID. So we made use of the data carrier to carry data from one room to the other. And now that we have our data back, we don't need the carrier anymore. That's why we are destroying the instance here. And now we're gonna make use of the target enter ID. Since we have entered the other room now, we need to spawn on the enter instance. So that's what we are doing in this part. We are checking if the enter instance is there in the room. If it is, we wanna move the player to it. So here we set the X and the Y of the player to the X and the Y of the enter instance. This way, when you go through a door, you're gonna end up on the right enter instance. So now we're gonna go into the game. I'm gonna collect some coins and then go through the door. Now you'll notice that the coins here are the same that we had in the previous room. And we also spawned on the right enter instance. Now if I go back, I'm gonna come out of the same door. You can now keep adding more doors and more enter instances. Now we have solved our two problems. We connected our rooms and created a data carrier. But there is a third problem that we can now solve. This one is about creating transitions between the rooms. So for a simple fade transition, you can go here. And for an advanced crossfade transition, you can go here. And finally, for more videos, you can subscribe here. And I'll see you in the next one.